Hey guys, it's my last night in LA, so I've come up to the Griffith Observatory to uh, get some good nighttime shots of the city and learn about planets and stuff. It's another one of my favourite um, late night LA spots. Uh, free entry and it's open till 10. The observatory's been the site for many uh, film shoots over the years. Um, famous stuff like obviously the arrival of the original Terminator was up here. Uh, they shot Charlie's Angels up here. Probably the most famous has got to be uh, Rebel Without a Cause, which was filmed on these steps just up here. The views from up here are great. It's downtown. And up here you can see pretty much all the way down uh, Santa Monica Boulevard, right to the sea. Pretty much any time you come up here, night or day, you're going to get a great view. Uh, it can get a bit smoggy in the day and parking's a little bit trickier at sundown as you can expect. But uh, always worth a visit. So, entering through the front door. And you're in this amazing, like, atrium hall. There's like a big pendulum thing swinging in the middle. You can watch it knock over these little pins to tell you what the time is. And then down at either side, there's some um, various experiments to tell you about the solar system, the planets. Day and night cycles. <coughs> Moon phases. Very useful. This is the guy that funded the uh, observatory as well as Griffith Park. Griffith J. Griffith. He was a Welshman. Uh, I think he was from Bettis in Glamorganshire. Uh, he ploughed a ton of money into the city, funded this great place, and uh, built places like Griffith Park. Um, he was a great guy. He did shoot his wife, but let's just forget that part. Something I only realized on about my second or third visit here is that there's a whole other area of exhibits downstairs. You won't be able to hear this on the camera, but in the middle of this corridor, there's a spot where the walls focus all the sound right into your ears, and it sounds crazy. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Even when I'm not working, you can't get away from a good star breakup gobo. How much you weigh? No, oh, okay. that's why. No, no, this. Look, see how you see how That's a real clump of moon rock. She's in. It used to be here. <laughs> I weigh 30 pounds, that's amazing. Well, we'll see how much you Check out this 395 pound, that's 179 kilogram for us, those of us that aren't savages, uh, that crashed uh, in the Arizona desert and made the Barringer meteor crater. That thing is huge, hand for size comparison. Wow, I wonder how big the whole thing was. They got a scale model of the solar system here. Right down to poor little old Pluto. When you get an idea of the scale of these things, 
It's kind of hard to feel sympathy or even wonder how anyone ever thought that that was really a planet. <laughs> it's one fifth the size of our moon. So uh, if the moon's not a planet, poor little guy definitely shouldn't be. Looking at this line of planets that emanates out from us, I'm reminded of something that uh, Rob Schraub said the other night at Harmontown. You know, we go from Earth to the Moon and like out to Mars, but no one ever goes down. There could be some really cool stuff just down, just down below us. We need to build like rocket bases on Antarctica or something. This is the old Zeiss Mark IV planetarium projector that was in use from uh, the 60s all the way up to 2002. It's uh, definitely had its fair share of use. Is that a Doug Adams reference? <laughs> Heading in to take a look in the telescope. 12 inch Zeiss lens. You know, it felt like you were turning there, a bit of an optical illusion, but that was everything moving above you. So definitely uh, an interesting view. Uh, inside of this cloud, there are plenty of other stars, but they're being blocked by the cloud. The trick here, folks, though, is you want to look straight through the tube. You may have heard there is uh, five planets that are in a line right now in the early morning sky. They're not aligned. Aligned means they're moving through the sky and setting in the west. So they're going to be a nice straight line across the sky. What a view. Incredible. I've just got time to have a quick look in the planet Arium. They do uh, lots of exciting shows here in the planet Arium. It's fine. <laughs> I hope they bring back Elvis! All coming through this thing. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Samuel Ocean Planetarium at Griffith Observatory. Well, what a great way to end my trip. It's been uh, a good couple of weeks. Uh, Hopefully we'll be back here pretty soon. Until then, see you later, LA.